Welcome to the Space Claim Basic Training on the Combine Tool. For this section, go ahead and open up the Combine Basics part, which we'll be using for the rest of this exercise. The Combine Tool allows us to merge and split solids with each other. So for this section, we're going to use the example of this outlet to combine solids together and to use them to, to split each other. Now if I hide my outlet by right clicking on it and choosing hide from the right mouse button menu, you'll see that the two black plugs interfere with the volume. Let me hide one of these as well and show the outlet again by clicking the checkbox next to outlet in the structure tree on the left. So you see that there is no cutout for those plugs on that outlet. We're going to use the combine tool to create that. Go ahead and right click in white space and choose show all to bring all of the solids back into the into view. I'm going to select the combine tool and walk through the three steps for the combine tool to cut using one solid into another. For help along the way we can use the status messages that appear on the top left. So the three sections of the combine tool are to select the target object, then select your cutter object, and then select the regions that you want to remove. And so we can follow along in the tool guides on the right with all three of these steps. For the first part I want to select the outlet as my target, so I hover over it and click with my left mouse button once to select it. Then I want to use this black plug as the cutter object, so I click on that next, again left mouse button, and finally the third step is select the region that you want to remove. As I hover over it will show me either the large region of the outlet or the small cutout from the interference with the black plug and I can click on either of those to remove them. So I want to click on the small cutout region. And then click in white space to complete that operation. Now if I go back to the select tool, right click on the plug and choose hide, you see that it created the appropriate cutout in the outlet. Let's do the same thing on the bottom. Again, go to the combine tool, choose the outlet as your target, choose the plug as your cutter object, left clicking, and notice that the option to keep cutter is selected on the left, meaning that it will keep the cutter in place after using it in the combine operation. And now I'll click on the smaller portion to remove that region, clicking in white space always to complete. Okay, let me go back to the Select tool, right-click in white space, and choose Show All to bring all of the solids back. And I want to show you now the other operation in the Combine tool. When I click Combine, I can do one of two things. I can cut objects, like you just saw, and I can also merge objects together. So let me show you how we do that. I want to merge the plug with the cord on this model. So I'm going to click on the plug to choose it as my target and now instead of choosing a cutter object which is highlighted by default I'm going to hold down the control key. What that does is it toggles from cut to merge and you can see as I hold down the control and let it go that I can toggle between those two. So I'm going to hold down the control key and click on the red cord to merge those two together. And again, I'll click in white space to complete. So if I expand out in my structure tree plug one and cord one, you'll notice that the solid that was within cord one got merged with the solid in plug one, and those are all now one solid. If I expand cord two and plug two, we can see this again. 
In this case, I'm going to go in the opposite direction. So with the Combine tool, I'm going to select on the red cord, hold down Control to toggle to the Merge operation, and click on the black plug. Now, both solids from Plug 2 and Cord 2 got combined together, but they got combined into Cord 2 because that was the solid that I selected first. So the combine operation is always order dependent. Now finally on this model, if I click select and hide the screws, so let me click the checkbox next to the screws component in the structure tree, you see that I need all four cutouts for the screws at all four corners. So I'll show you how we can use the combine tool to perform four cut, uh, four split operations in one. Again, I'll click the Combine tool. I'll choose the outlet as my target object. And now, because holding Control will automatically merge solids together, I can't use that to multi-select. Instead, what I want to do is click the Cutter tool guide on the right to bring this round uh, or to bring this rim around that icon designating it as a sticky icon now I can go and without holding the control key I can simply click on all four of these screws to choose them as cutter objects without leaving the cutter tool guide when I'm ready to leave the cutter tool guide I can either click on the Cutter Tool Guide again, or click on the Remove Regions Tool Guide, and now go in and remove all four of the regions. I can either scroll through to select the regions that I want to remove, or it might be easier if I select from the back face, clicking only on the cutout regions. And I'll select all four, left-clicking, before I click in white space in white space to complete. And so now if I go to my select tool, right click on the outlet and isolate, you can see that all in one operation I remove the material from uh, that was interfering with all four of those screws. Thank you for watching the help or the basic training on the combine tool.